Guys, look at me and Macy. Gotta work out with our cute puff bags. Hi y'all, welcome back to another week in my life. It is Tuesday afternoon. I have been working, working, working. Had not much to vlog because it's launch week and then I have a lot of other things going on behind the scenes. We're doing some rebrand stuff. Oh. Macy has arrived. No, oh, it's, it's, she's crate resting. Macy thinks it's personal. No, I know. She's really like making it about her. Okay. Don't worry, it's not. Just look how on brand I am for walking into Kenzie's house. Well, it's your bag with the cowboy boots. Oh, well that. Yeah. Yeah, and then a Sprouts bag. Let's do a Sprouts haul because Kenzie's making dinner. Lunch. Oh, yeah. I got a root beer for me. Love. Okay. We got two You know cans. I have like 10 all like pop root beers in there. Really? Yeah, I, have a, I got a subscription thing. Yeah. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. We got two cans of peach because I looked it up and these are the peaches someone else used in a peach chicken. By the way, when I said just ask, that sounded really, I didn't mean to hit send. Oh no, you're good. Um, I was just on the phone trying to text you back no, and I was like, good. that's not what I needed to sound like. This, right? Yeah. Perfect. For a second, I thought you meant like just like tomatoes and that I would like we would dice them. Like, well, you're not, don't worry, you're gonna work. I'm gonna go. And then balsamic. Yeah, that's, that's the exact kind that I get too. Really? Yeah, good job. I'm I, gonna make peach. Well, here's the thing like it's not gonna be, this is probably gonna be fine. So it's not gonna be as fresh because the reason I even no, found this recipe to begin with which is like one of my favorite recipes was that I just got a bunch of peaches from the farmer's market and I was like, how do I use this up when I have chicken? Good, I found this recipe, it's so good. I'm gonna make a TikTok on it. Oh, I wish we had a peach spread. I know, I'm out of spreads right now, I think. I um, got two because I'm gonna try something. Love, you can film all your stuff here. I was thinking sure. like right there. Yeah, well here, right here, I realized it's great lighting. I was making some TikToks earlier. So I'm drinking important. my coffee. I'm going to um, Soul Cycle at 5.30, but I kind of want to call and get transferred to the 6.30 because it's, it's an emo night class. Like, like I don't know what they do about emo night, but if it's like warp tour, sometimes like, there's two different kinds of emo night. Yeah, but if it was like emotional, it's like, I uh, let my god down the ledge. No, it's not like it's not like that kind of. I think it's like emo, like rock. Anyways, I can't decide, but um, working on some things, lots of calls. I'm just now starting my week in my life vlog. Oh, oh I said I was doing my YouTube era and I forgot. Yeah, you did. Um, and I'm doing finally Coastal Calvary dinner Friday. All right, let's see how it's going. Oh wow, it's looking great. It's a little bit too hot in there, but looks amazing. All right, I'm on my way. I think I forgot to show my outfit. This is the perfect summer movie outfit in Texas. I have it linked in my Let's like, Know it profile. I don't know which one to walk. I'm like talking to my camera in front of all these people right now. It's giving me anxiety. Anyways, these pants are from Amazon. They're men's. I got something on them. They dried weird. They're normally cuter than this. 30 bucks. And they're really lightweight. They're perfect for like the airport and movie theater in Texas in the summer because I don't like when I'm like wearing shorts and like my feet, like I touch the chair. I don't know why. But anyways, then obviously a sweater. Best tank ever from Skims. I'm obsessed, I'll link it. I just bought three new ones last week because I wear them so often. I do a small and a medium. Ah, uh, North Park, my favorite place ever. I feel like I used to vlog about North Park all the time, especially when I lived in LA. Just love it. This is so exciting. I mean, it's we have one like 10 minutes away, but still, hello. Stops at Lego. Our movie thing got messed up, so we're going to a different movie theater, but getting so some Legos for next week when she comes over. I'm outside of Soul Cycle right now. I'm about to go in. I think they're watching me. I have my water bottle. I have my tan coming off my face. I have my bag and we're going. I've really been liking it. Um, I've been going like once or twice a week, just mixing it in. And it always puts me in such a good mood when I leave. So that's why I like it. I really also obviously prefer, prefer morning workouts, but Coco had physical therapy this morning. And the timings of the class are just weren't working. So, anyways, we're off. Okay, here we go. I'm back from my massage, and it was incredible. I'm sorry if it's like cluttered in the background. I normally try to hide this. My aura ring is right here. Um, I went through my first glimmer hair mask, so I just reordered three of them. I'll link it below. I do think it's like helping my hair. Um, I've just heard like amazing things, and I do think it's been good so far. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, the massage was unbelievable. I went to Yumi at the Greenville location. First off, she was so good. I got the deep tissue enhancement and then the whey scalp serum. So, let me see, I have my, where is my whey scalp serum? 
my bathroom is kind of like confusing right now. It's not super organized, but this gal's serum, there's a little massage. I realized how much I love a head massage today. It was really good. So anyways, I definitely recommend if you guys are in Dallas or just like the now anywhere, they have like a bunch of different locations to franchise. So um, yeah, it was really a fabulous experience. I have about 10 minutes to get ready, and then I'm going to the Henry for their Hamptons pop-up. This is a great day. Then I was driving into the long way home, and it's just like so green, and there's so many trees, and I passed by the water, and I was like, I love my life. I do. So I need to get ready and head out, like literally right now. Guys, we are at the Henry for their Hamptons pop-up. It's so beautiful out. Lauren and I got these like spicy habanero mango margaritas are really good. And Everything looks amazing. We're ordering pretty much everything on the menu, but we got oysters, truffle fries, popstickers, crispy rice. I'm really living. Today is a great day. Hello, this girl is watching me film myself and is literally in my workout class. <laughs> Anyways, happy launch day. Today's Wednesday. I also have these eye masks on underneath. These people are gonna be like, who this girl is insane. I finished one trail last night and I literally want to sob, but at least I will stop talking about it to you guys. Um, but I'm listening to Drama Queens and I'm literally reading Hilary Bones book in real life. So um, I'm just getting some photos because we are launching our socks today as well. They got here in time and I took some photos last night after my soul cycle class. So just getting some things done here. Um, I have to be there in like two minutes. So off to wait lift. And today I'm mainly home. I don't have like a ton of stuff besides launch and just like work to do. I don't think I have any plans tonight, hopefully. Um, which is amazing. I always love to be home. Hi guys, uh, y'all are gonna kill me. It's the next day. Okay, I'm sorry. I was gonna vlog yesterday, but then there was people at my house and then after there was people at my house, they're working on the wallpaper, which they didn't even do yesterday. We're doing that tomorrow, but I just got so anxious. I went to Coco's physical therapy, like as we launched the pink. Um, and should I just, that's a lot of coffee. I don't need that much coffee. Can I pour this back in? Um, no, I can't. I, question, the answer is no. I knew I should have got more of those sprouts yesterday. Anyways, um, anxiety like hit me so bad on the work. You know what's weird? I've noticed that like I get really anxious on launch days, but like not pre-launch and it really has nothing to do with how the launch does. Like launch went great. Like and I just later that day, it just like hits me. I don't even really want coffee and I just want the biggest coffee yet. So yeah, I don't know. It was just like really weird and then and I feel like Honestly, my anxiety has been bad the past couple of months. And then I feel like if I'm vlogging, it's every single week, I'm like, anxiety chat and I feel annoying. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm gonna try to pick it up now. Pink Puff, out now. Um, but, sorry y'all. I have about 8% left of Hilary Burton's book. It's good, it's not like a must read by any means. Like nothing really happens. Like they have like a sweet story or two in there. And it's interesting, but it's not like, I like because she like moves out to a farm and like leaves Hollywood, you know what I mean? But it's not like everyone must read this. If you're a Montreal Hill fan, like sure, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna go to Pilates and get that going for myself. Um, I filmed a TikTok on my tanner too that I use. Looks unfiltered, I'll link it below. I know I'm not like super dark right now, but it's just like a healthy looking glow. Um, and also, update on the vitamin C, literally ripping my my skin apart. It still is in pain. Like, it's still messed up. So, like, my stuff is laying weird. Like, Tanner's laying weird on my face and everything. But, anyways, what else? We're going to Pilates. Today is East Coast versus West Coast hip hop, which I'm excited for. Hope you guys enjoy. There's also just like a lot going on behind the scenes right now. I'm working on some rebrands. Um, and not just one. So, it's just like, there's so much that's going on that I can't like film. You know what I mean? So, anyways, now we're getting back on it. I have a lot happening today, a lot happening tomorrow. It's gonna be me and the girlies, aka you. You know, we've never had a name for you guys or my podcast listeners. But let me know if the anxiety chats are annoying because I feel like, especially when they're happening all the time, and I know it looks, I have clinical anxiety if that makes it any better. I know it sounds annoying coming from me. So, anyways, it's just a lot when you're like over something, like a, like a business that like relies on you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I don't have someone to like, I don't have anyone else. It's very isolating. Like, I spend a lot of time alone. 
and then a lot of it I feel like it's hard for like sales or like just like certain things like not like ref like get too personal I don't know anyways off we go because I am just rambling We're at my favorite place to pick up some stuff to grill. I'm so excited. I'm gonna grill tomorrow. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Also, Sprouse is supposed to be in such a good mood. I'm in an amazing mood today, guys. Like, I'm like tearing up. I'm so happy. Like, I don't know what happened to me from last week to this week. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm dressed right now like a mom who is taking her child to school Coco's in her carrier I have my bag packed like I literally have everything in here I have like a notebook my Kindle like everything during her physical therapy appointment and I'm off I'm driving I have lathered my body in lotions I just took a shower and actually not actually obviously I washed my hair but I have updated my hair journey I'm still bad about taking my Nutrafol and I need to do that today. I have to remember and I actually need all of you guys to remind me. Simple ask, if you see my Instagram stories and I haven't posted that I've taken my uh, vitamins, I don't know, whatever, supplement, what is it? What's the difference? That day, uh, just send me a nice little DM, make sure I'm doing something. But um, I have... My goal was to only have to wash my hair like once a week. The only way I can get away with washing my hair once a week is if I get a blowout. And I have been like regularly getting a blowout once a week for a bit now. I'm sure you guys obviously see it in the vlogs. Um, but then I got this Glimmer hair mask that Kate Davis, who I'm obsessed with, always posts about and it says it's like a superfood mask that was like saved her hair and whatever. So then I like started, I wanted to try out like new products, so then I started washing my hair, but like I washed my hair on the Sunday and then I had to wash it today, which is Thursday, because it was just like I needed to for the weekend. But I'm also like not immediately drying it out, blowing it out today. And like that process genuinely takes me like three hours to do because I have so much hair with my extensions and extensions just take a lot longer to dry. So that's the other thing about getting extensions. Not only is it more work, but also it literally takes me, like myself, like three hours to do my hair. Um, so really what you should do is just dry like the wet, like the top part of your weft. Why am I blinking the name? Cause that um, helps with like the care of the extensions and helps them last longer. Oh my God. And then I'll like let the rest of my hair dry. I didn't even have time to do that today though. So, I mean, it's not the best. My sister would kill me. So anyways, I am working on my hair out and I'm using uh, like scalp serums, which I feel like I haven't been as consistent about. And that was like my biggest goal this year. And I like really have kind of dropped the ball, but I'm getting back into it now. The Glimmer hair mask, I've used it a couple times and it makes my hair feel really smooth. Obviously I haven't used it long enough to like notice. And I feel like it's kind of hard cause it's like, is that my hair or the extensions? You know what I mean? So, anyways, that's my hair health update. I really feel like a mom going to a PTA meeting right now. So, chat soon. Great news, guys. So, also I think a lot of my, like, stress, and I feel like this might sound stupid if you, like, don't have a dog and you, like, don't get it, but every day has another day of Coco not being able to walk and it, like, is so depressing and just awful. Like, I could cry thinking about it. I mean, like, literally getting teary-eyed now, but... We're only on um, her fourth appointment. She is doing three appointments a week. The first week she'd only do two, but she's doing three appointments a week for eight weeks. And we're only on our fourth one, so like out of 24, and then we'll reevaluate. I don't know if she'll like be done then or whatever, but she had acupuncture today. She only has that twice a week. And they told me that she was like pushing back and like had like good re- Whoa. Kiss FM just started playing. Throwback to my childhood. Um, but they said that she was like moving or like, okay, I should have written down exactly what they said. I was just too excited. Basically they said she's, she has like reflexes, like she's pushing back, whatever. And, and that's like a really good sign because there is a chance she still can't walk, obviously. Um, so yay, everyone. I'm so happy. It's only the fourth one. So everyone send Coco really thought positive thoughts and prayers. Heading out to get a late lunch, it's like a 4.30 thing. And then I'm going to a panel at Alice and Olivia. And then I'm going to Komodo. They invited me in. You guys will see tonight. I'm excited. 
But I'm wearing a really cute outfit. I threw it on in two seconds, putting my sunglasses on. Um, I have this top on from Skims that I forgot I even had because I put it in like the wrong part of my closet. I haven't gotten to wear it yet. It was tucked in. It's been tucked out. I just like, I don't know. We're, we're going to figure that out as time goes on. And then, okay, we're sliding. This skirt is Princess Polly. I got a ton of maxi skirts. And my last vlog, I know you guys probably saw that, but I'll link these as well. And then my favorite kitten heels from Sam Edelman. There's just nothing better than these kitten heels. I either wear cowboy boots or kitten heels literally every single day. Um, if I'm like not working out, I'm like, you know, I'm actually like leaving my house doing things, getting ready, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'm excited for all this to be gone soon. And tomorrow, the wallpaper will be installed. By the way, this is not anything. This is a sample and I didn't like it. This is like old stuff and it's just been put there. So anyways, really exciting stuff. Guys, I ran out of coffee. So sad. I have to put skincare on so I don't even think these are gonna stay. But happy Friday. I'm going to work out and then I have to go run to the store because I have the Coastal Cowgirl dinner party today. I really need to go to Trader Joe's too. And my wallpaper is being installed. And my closet, my garage. I have like my Ikea closet from the townhouse. It's getting picked up. Guys, do you, is there anyone like, do you drink like a tea before bed to wake up without your face being bloated? Like, it's weird because I feel like I don't always eat, like, it's every day. Like, I eat a lot, like, pretty clean. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't eat, like, perfectly healthy, but I eat pretty clean. So, like, I have questions. Also, Fitz has just been the sweetest ever. I know I keep saying that, but, like, come here, bro. Come here. Look. 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 Okay. Well, off I go. Just finished book club, stopping at DeNovo. Hi. Oh my god, it does look so cute in here. Oh my god, yeah, wait. I really haven't been in a bit. Stopped at DeNovo very, very, very quickly. Got some things. The store right now is so cute. No one is surprised. It's, no one knows that I just came in full cycle. It's so embarrassing. Here we go. Truly my favorite place. My favorite wine. I actually don't have this at home right now. I've been having so much wine. Oh, I haven't tried the cab. I don't know what I want. Oh, and sparkling wine. I had no idea. Okay. I mean, this is my favorite. I'm like a white wine girl, but. Got the flowers, got all the groceries. I actually have another Instacart delivery coming, but it's fine. Okay, everything has arrived. I'm gonna clean up my house a little bit. And also I have things outside that I need to get done and those tags have been driving me insane. Um, so I'm gonna clean up and then what I'm gonna do is set out everything that I need. I'm actually gonna set the table and then set out dishes that I'm gonna serve certain things in, set out everything that I need like out here. I also need to get my crock pot out. Fitz just wants to say hello. It's gonna be such a fun night. I can't remember how many people I have coming. I think six to eight. Um, my cousin's coming earlier this afternoon to help me because she gets off work early. So it's gonna be so fun. I have to figure out what I'm wearing. If y'all are new here, I love a dinner party. Like hosting is my favorite thing ever. Fun little memories, things like that. Okay, gotta go. Okay guys, if I'm awkward today, just know that it's because I have so much to film and so much to say. And I have a random man, nice man, great guy, just don't know him obviously, in my house. And he is doing the wallpaper. So I have to film all day and uh, he's gonna be there. So anyways, I did wanna say this, I've made a TikTok, I posted an Instagram story, like whatever, but you just need to know about this brush. This is like not a flattering shirt, but whatever. It skims and it's so soft. I just like love wearing it all the time. Anyways, this brush from it is from Kari, so it looks suspicious that I'm saying this. I've said this before, but like it actually is the best brush ever. I'll link it below. You need a good like foundation brush to like buff it all out. Like it is fine that it like applies my foundation or my moisturizer. Like today I'm wearing the, how do you say this? Say, 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 I don't know. I really like this stuff. Um, and then I've also been using the NARS foundation. I use this like during the day if I'm like putting on a little bit of something, like really chill, like right now. And then this is like my foundation that I wear out. I will say though, it's the best foundation, it's so good. I always have issues with like 
this. And I'm the only person in the world because it's a pump and I feel like somehow it gets twisted in there and then it's hard. I don't know. I've like broken an entire one. I've like bought one and it's just like falling apart. Um, probably because of me, honestly. I don't know like what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, I'm excited for the dinner party. I'm literally like the, the entire day is focused on the dinner party. I mean, I do have like work that I do. I'm making brisket, so that's gonna take a second. Um, and then what else do I have? We're doing guacamole. I did get like store-bought queso. Um, cowboy caviar, rice, tacos. I'm doing shrimp and brisket, but shrimp is like a lot easier and faster to make. And then I just felt like I already made like slaw. So yeah, that's my vibe today. I need to get dressed and just like showered and rinsed off and then like, I like literally live in this, like these tops. I have like three of them. Like they're so soft. I also have like more skins orders coming today because they came out with my favorite pajamas in pink. So obviously I had to. And then they also, which I forgot I even made this order, came out with, um, did I even show you guys my outfit last night? I hope I did because I liked it. They also came out with, um, like the boxer shorts in pink. So like, you know what I mean? Like I, I had to, they pushed my hand is what they did. So I wasn't planning on like doing makeup earlier today, but I guess here we are. So I went to my bathroom and then all of a sudden it was like happening after the fact. So it is what it is, you know? I don't think my sister even realized that she left this blush in my house, the Norris orgasm blush. I was wondering why I was here for so long and then I remembered. So, I mean, she hasn't said anything. And she doesn't live super close to me anymore. She, well, she lives in the suburbs. She still lives close, but like we used to live a lot closer. Okay, I cannot find my brow gel, but this is the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. I feel like I might have already told you. The Patrick Ta brow gel is my favorite brow gel I've ever used. I used to just kind of be like whatever about brow gels. I always used Costa as it was like fine to the job. No, this is so good. Like unbelievably good. I really don't want to put mascara on. That's like the worst part of my day. <sighs> Putting on mascara, like there needs to be something else. Like what can we do? That isn't like eyelash extensions. Also, I bought like three more of these just to have, but I really should buy like 10 because I guess more of these going out of business. I said this in the vlog before. Because am I just repeating myself in every single vlog? Like be honest. I don't know, I'm in a weird like funk. I decided this weekend is gonna be a life reset and I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna think and I'm gonna record a podcast episode about it um, and then next week will be like a reset but I just need to like just chill, have like no obligations, read, journal, go on walks. I don't think I'm gonna make it out to the ranch. That would be very highly beneficial but I don't know if that's in the cards um, and yeah, like I need to just be one with myself and nature. That's what I need. And then maybe I'll like get out of this weird funk. There's also just a lot of my life that's kind of like changing within myself almost, like within like business stuff. Like there's just a lot changing all at once. So, and not that any of it's negative is actually all like really good, but I don't know. Like I'm just in like a weird thing. And I'm always in a weird thing this time of year. And I always notice that like it's, this time of year, I've already, I've already talked about like summertime blues and sadness and stuff and obviously it's not summer yet, but it's like when it's transitioning into summer, it's so hot in Texas and obviously I love Texas so much, but like I hate heat, so it's really inconvenient for me. So that's why I have to be like really rich in my life and um, live so my su summer in a decade, you know what I mean? Um, but something about like when summer is coming around, it starts getting hot and whatever, I just am in like a weird mood and I'm also trying to like gaslight myself into loving the heat. Like I see girls that I know posting like when it gets hot and they're like, oh my God, I'm so happy. And I'm like, what do you mean you're happy? It's hundred degrees outside. Like, how are you happy? And they love it. And I'm trying to be like that because I would be happier. You know what I mean? So that's my other goal. I'm just going to gaslight myself into liking the heat um, and go on from there. You know what I mean? So hopefully that works out for me. Also, I just hate putting on mascara. I also just like, I don't mind wearing makeup, but like I just don't, you know? Especially when it's hot or like I'm home, I'm obviously not gonna wear makeup, but I'm filming all day, so I was like, might as well. Anyways, I'm gonna go change, find an outfit, and like figure out my life, get things set up. Aw, guys, so many orders. Uh, yay. So I've kind of just separated everything and labeled it. 
Um, there are a lot of things that like obviously limes are in like most things. So like they're just kind of staying in the center and this actually, I forget where I'm, I think it's Cabo Caviar. Anyways, I have everything like labeled. The shrimp, which is just mainly seasoning, brisket, which has other things, sides, whatever. I have everything labeled so I know like what to do. The brisket is gonna be in the slow cooker, so I'm gonna do that first. And then um, probably set up the table. I'll do cabo caviar. I'll do guac last, definitely. Shrimp kind of later. And then like set everything out. But this is kind of the vibe. I might even use bags and put like them back in the bag so they're all just like ready to go. But it makes my life a lot easier if I like label things. Have a Nancy Myers movie on and I set everything up in what I'm gonna serve it on which also makes things go faster. I'm gonna get going with the brisket because that's the longest one. I have a, like a bunch of seasonings and things I need to get out. Um, if you ever need to like reference this back or something, I'm making TikToks for like literally every single thing. So cowboy caviar, shrimp, chips, guac, which I haven't opened my thing, I will in a second. Tacos, sides, this is like Spanish rice, like all this stuff. Um, lime crema, I and mean, then this is just stuff that like is in a lot of the recipes, so I'm just keeping it out over here. But um, I did start setting that up out there, but I need to do the brisket so then I can do the flowers and then like I can finish the outdoor area. Um, but yeah, lots of progress has been made. I'm gonna make a little like drink area as well. And I got sent, let me show you guys. Okay, I know I showed you these yesterday, but it's wine-based margaritas. So I'm gonna serve these tonight. I feel like they're perfect. Like amazing, and they're from Brightlands. I think, oh no, Bright Cellars. Why am I saying Bright? Oh, my olive oil's from Brightlands. Um, but I really like Bright Cellars, it's like a wine subscription. Anyways, love. Just went through my first like Graza olive oil, squeezable olive oil. I love this stuff, it lasted me almost six months. And I love it, it's so inexpensive. Best stuff ever. But now I have my Brightland olive oil to try that Lauren got me as my housewarming gift that I have been so excited to try. So, bringing this one out. I it. Looks stunning. Okay, progress has been made. Obviously, I haven't been doing this all day long. I've also been working, but I've been going back and forth, and it's been kind of convenient. I have everything like set. I need a few more bowls, um, but this is like such a mess over here. I'm actually not gonna do the cooler. Um, I'm probably next, I think, gonna set up the drink station. I don't think I can set it up though, because I might want to put it over here. Actually, no, I think it makes sense over there. So I'm gonna do that um, and figure it out. We're making honor bar marks, but I think they're called the Clifton marks, I think is what Half Baked Harvest has, but there's just like egg whites, they're a little bit more frothy. They're our favorite marks in Dallas. One of our friends who unfortunately is out of town tonight um, is like a master and makes them better herself now. So I'm gonna figure that out. She sent me the recipe. Um, and then also look, look at how cute these are. I really want stuff, like this is like the stuff that I wanna be making for my brand, you know what I mean? But this is a gift. I have no idea where it's from. Just like monogrammed napkins. I got um, some for Haley actually who makes these marks that say something with hey, I can't remember, um, for when she makes these marks and they're really cute. So anyways, oh, I got them on Etsy. Sorry is what I was gonna say. Just like Google. Etsy shop, I was like a random Etsy shop, so. Anyways, gonna figure that out. I made the, how do I fit? Made the cowboy caviar. It is sitting in the fridge currently. I also made some lime crema. So I've got this stuff, honestly, really ready to go. I just have the shrimp, when the brisket's done, the guac, which we obviously can't really make before. Gonna roast a lot of the, obviously like the tacos. And yeah, I feel like a lot of it is pretty much done. Guys, Alyssa has arrived. We're gonna We're take here. Fitz out. He's just recently started to play fetch. He, it's really hit or miss. Like I've tried with him probably 10 times here. He's athletic. And like yesterday was like one of the two times he was into it. He'll catch the ball, but he doesn't really like to bring it back sometimes. That's his issue. Fitz, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no boy. No, Fitz, look, look, ready? Fetch. Oh, oh my God. He is extra possessed. He's like showing off for you. Oh, he is oh. showing off. Oh, wow. Like, he, I didn't even get this from him yesterday. Oh, are you okay. gonna bring the ball? You like, what does he not get? Ready? Oh, it's sweet. Oh. Ready? Set. Ready? Oh. He's literally a horse. Go get it. <gasps> Good boy. Oh my God, he has so much energy right now. Oh my God, he's. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, it's pouring out now. <laughs> But we're not gonna move this until like an hour from now. 
because maybe it'll stop pouring. You never know with Texas weather. Guys, look what I found. I forgot I had this. So cute, perfect. This is from Montana, a boutique in Montana. And then these are anthropology. Guys, the other thing, I mean, I feel very passionately about a recipe book because even though I'm doing this on a laptop right now, it's nice to unplug when you're in the kitchen, even though I, you know, film all the time when I'm in the kitchen. But listen, I don't like reading off a recipe from my screen because it ruins my like, Zenness in the kitchen and also I like to have everything together in one place. This is from like P-A-P-I-E-R. I don't know how you pronounce that brand. Papier. Papier. I'm afraid of sounding stupid. So it's from that brand. Um, there's a few things I would change about this book, but this is like what I've been using. Anyways, the other thing that's nice is that I learn by writing. So like if I write down a recipe, then I like memorize it. You know what I mean? And then it's nice to have like it's a cute idea of like passing this down one day or being like this was like my 20s or like this house or like whatever. And then if you actually like a recipe that you try out, like it makes it in here. Anyways, I'm adding the honor bar marg in here so that I can also leave it out. This is the other thing that's amazing. Oh, I need to get on my, I'm a genius. On my cookbook stand, I'm gonna have this out so people will know how to make it. Yep, yep. I'm a literal genius. Um, the, wa the water, the rain has gone down a little bit. We're gonna make some margs. I just made some shrimp. Got a few other things to do. Guac takes two seconds to make. I do want to roast these. Oh, um, which is easy. We'll just do it on the pan. Yeah, the pan. Yeah. Whatever. Guys, a miracle has happened, and it's sunny out. The rain not only stopped, but the sun has come out, and we're like pretty much we're getting close to being done. We're ready, things making marks. Things are picking up for yeah. us. Yeah, things are progressing. They're progressing. Made the honor bar margarita. I think she's like Setting. Oh, made a TikTok too. Thought I was being a shoe, and this is your pressy pressy, it doesn't look like salt, I another one. Anyways, I want to show my fit. Cute. I'm going to do a TikTok about this too. I know. You know? Oh. A lot of my friends will be like, the two. I have a different boyfriend for like six years. See, so. so, I don't know. It's random. Yeah. In my mind, like all my friends are single, but then I'm already eating my meal. I'm getting some B roll. I'm already eating my meal. Um, this looks so good. I can't wait. I know, me too. Thank I'm so excited. I'm excited. Right. Really okay, no. You're not yeah. in it. No. I'm just on B roll duty. <laughs> I, I assigned it to myself just now. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. What time do you have to leave for Austin tomorrow? Um, okay girlies, we just ate our meal. It was really... So fire. It was really good, if I just did myself. I don't know if I have enough. The brisket was very good, and I'm just glad because brisket is my favorite meal. Is that, um, like the meat box or the meat box? Um, no, which I should have just done that because I only had two pounds and I thought I would need more. I just like, didn't know how much I would need. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, guys, like, what is the plan for going out? Because, like, I could, there's like a 10% chance yeah. that you're going to well, it's the guys that you like. Oh, Where's that first from? And Amazon. So I one just like it, but it's tan. I need a white one. Mm -hmm. Mine's express. And it's oh, Amazon. Okay, everyone just left, but I did get a Skims package, so we're gonna do a little Skims haul. Oh my gosh. Something about this—I didn't even know I had that on my TV. Like a normal guide is very nostalgic. Oh, I got the tank tops that I love. My favorite tank tops ever. Um, so good from Skims. The rib tank tops, I think is what they're called. Cotton rib tank, um, I'll link. The best one ever. Like I stained my other one. So I had to get more and then I got like a white and like an off-white one. But I live in these. I think I got a size medium. Yeah, oh, one was small and one was medium. Honestly, I kind of wish I would have gotten both in small because it's just something that I like want tight fitted. I'm really like a size medium, but I do wear small depending on like, how I want it to fit, obviously. And then I got these. The I think I was telling you guys this earlier, actually, in the vlog. So it's so weird. Like, I literally had one drink, and for some reason, when I'm vlogging after I have a drink, I'm like, feel like I sound drunk. And I'm like, I'm not. Also, I've vlogged drunk before, so anyways. Oh, wait. 
Okay, these shorts are large, so I think I got the wrong size. I said the wrong size, but maybe actually. You know when you, okay, this is the issue with shorts in general. Like, they never fit, like, my thighs, right? They're always, like, too, like, uh, like my thighs are, like, too big or, like, they don't fit around them or, like, whatever. So, maybe this will work. We'll see, but I want them to be like loose. So, anyways, so cute. I would like wear these out. That's the thing, you know? So, anyways, that is my Skims haul. It is almost 10 p.m., and everyone just left. I was cleaning up. It was a really fun time. Um, the brisket was really good. All of the details and stuff will be on my TikTok. If you don't know, brisket is my favorite food ever. And it was chill. Um, with, I wanted to do like an entire solo episode. I'll probably record that this week on hosting dinner parties but the one thing i will say is i need to like incorporate like activities like you need it sounds like stupid but you need like when we like the powerpoint night or like something else or i want to do like a make pizza making on the grill night but like something else like you have to like have something else that like lasts a little bit longer but like not for tonight because tonight was like, a weekend night and we were like not trying to do that but i just like on like, a week night i'm like thinking about ways to like make it better you know what i mean oh my god guys look at fitz he was the star of the show all day today. Um, I, most people went home, some people went out, and I just like wasn't feeling going out literally at all. And I kind of wanted like a wholesome life reset weekend. But sometimes like when I do that and I feel like I'm trying to get my life together and I stay at home by myself all weekend, I end up more miserable. And I'd rather like be out with friends. So I'm gonna like wake up tomorrow and like see how I feel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I love hosting, it was a fun time. Love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next. Let me know what you guys want to see in the vlogs. I feel like I'm like a YouTube rut. So, let me know. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I want to be in a place where I have a very healthy perspective and a healthy relationship, like, with God or spirituality or, like, whatever it is that, like, any of us believe, right? I know a lot of you guys feel the same way, and a lot of us in our 20s are having a hard time with, like, what we believe and, like, the spiritual side of our lives.